There is a huge demand to design commercial airplanes that are more efficient. These things have to be manufactured. The better we design them, the less resources we are using for the manufacturing process. Well, it's very crucial to bring students into this new era of manufacturing and design in order to make our environment more sustainable. Here, with Airbus, it's a great environment to define the future of flight technologies. It was my final year of my aeronautical engineering study. I got an internship by Airbus. As part of my internship, I've been developing a hydrogen-driven octocopter drone. This will be a pollution-free and efficient drone. When I first started the project, my supervisor at Airbus asked me if I wanted to try Fusion 360 for the whole design process. In order to explore the use of Fusion 360 and the generative design workbench, he was able not only to design, but also to build it as a static display in reality. With generative design, I could explore a lot more variables in the design process based on multiple manufacturing methods and materials. We believe generative design will certainly change the way engineers will work in the future. And we believe that generative design can help students to advance and to grow. The University of Applied Science in Hamburg is one of the partner universities. They are doing interesting projects. Students, they are very innovative. And this is what we need um, as an asset within Airbus. The weight reduction was important for this project, but generative design helped with more than just that. It saved me time because I had less iterations. It helped me bring as many ideas as possible to life and learn with every creation so I could make the right decisions. With topology optimization, I can only optimize one existing part. Generative design helped me explore a lot more variables in the design process. So I got it down to only one part that meets all the requirements and functionality and saved about 50% on the weight. Generative design is not a tool, it's a design philosophy. This design philosophy helps us to tackle very complex research problems that a human with a state-of-the-art process could not explore. Generative design requires a different kind of mindset. And we believe that students can adopt to this very quickly. Students with their creativity and ability will advance how we design components at Airbus in the future. Thank you.